Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is get on the chair because this is a little bit weird. Bam! <laughs> so I am here in my new totally unpacked room, that's why you will not be seeing over there or over here. And why the bed, why the bed looks like it's covered? Because it is, because there's stuff all under the duvet. But I realised that I've not been on here in such a long time, especially because I was so motivated. But then I just got so I was in work all the time and I had so many things to do, so I just didn't come on here. And then I filmed a video a week ago, and I didn't have the tripod. And I didn't realise that it would like like <laughs> the entire thing. I just could not use it. I really liked the video, but it just shook so much. <laughs> like the camera was shook. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, but anyway, I'm already a minute in. So I thought that I'd just get on here and I just wanted to give a little bit of advice for freshers, particularly the ones going to Lancaster Uni. Um, this should still be interesting to anyone who, and useful to anyone who's going to any university. But here there are going to be some things that to Lancaster is going to be specific. Um, I'm going to pretend like that move made sense and I'm going to move on. So basically, I think the main thing to realise is that you've come away from your support system and you've you've got no friends <laughs> um, but so is everyone else and there every there, you will never have a more social time in your entire life you'll never have a time when more people will be willing to speak to you when more people will want to see you want to go and do things with you because everyone's just left their entire support system they've left everyone they care about they've left e anyone that they feel like they can go to in a problem, anyone that they'd go out for a coffee with, that they'd go to things with, they're not with them anymore, they're somewhere else. And you, everyone immediately, innately, we want to build up that, um, we want to build up that support system again. And we want friends, we don't want to go to things by ourselves, and we don't want to sit there awkwardly in a society meeting and not speak to anybody. So my main thing is to realise that people do want to speak to you, to take advantage of that so meet as many people as you can and as well as that go to as many societies as you can do as many things as you can because at the end of the day you can't do it twice unless you're me <laughs> who, <laughs> who's doing a second first year you can't do this twice this is the this is the most social time of your entire life so go to that society that you want to go to go to the go and try that sport that you want to try and just get involved in everything that's the second thing that I have to say. Get involved in everything that you can. I played netball for two terms and I was horrific. And I'm not going to do it again. But I had a, it was a new experience for me. And it showed that I can get out of my comfort zone. And I can try things and I can do things. And I am so proud of myself for that. And it showed that I'm not actually as bad at things as I think. And I'm not that like socially, <laughs> socially inept like, as I think that I am. Um, you know, anything to do with student union, I'd really advise you to get involved with it. As soon as you get there, I'd advise you to get to know people who you think could benefit you in a, in a professional way, so who can give you advice on what to do and where to go. So I know for me personally, I didn't do this and I applied for the JCR. And if you don't know if that means, that's the sort of the school council of the college, but it's a lot bigger and more complex than that. And I didn't know what I was getting myself into, but I, I'm so glad that I did it. But if I would have known, I could have been a lot more prepared for what I was going to do. If I was friends with someone in the JCR, if I was friends with someone in the college managers, I would have known what I was getting myself into. And I would have been more aware of the opportunities that are available to me and how to get them. And I think that that is really important as well. Um, going into more Lancaster specific, um, <laughs> uh, if you go on a night out, there's a free bus that takes you to and from the main club, which is Sugar. Get there early, get there 15 minutes early, get your elbows out. <laughs> You're getting on this bus, you need to force your way onto this bus, especially in freshers. Because our bus will leave as soon as it's full, and there might not be another one. So unless you fancy walking back to campus, because you won't be able to get a taxi, push forward. That is, <laughs> if you take one thing from this video, take it to push forward, okay? My freshers, we'll be pushing forward, <laughs> and that's all I have to say about that. Um, yeah, I'd just say that don't worry too much about housing. Housing will, like, you'll, you will sort it out. A lot of people will panic, including myself, and they'll get, they'll get a house with people that you don't really know within the first month, 
there will always be rooms available. If you don't have anyone that you think, you know what, I think I'll be, I think I will like this person this time next year, there'll be plenty of rooms in the summertime, especially, that you can just think, you know what, I can take my pick of all these rooms now. I might not be able to take my, my pick of people, but I can take a pick of any room that I want, in any house, in any price range. And I think that that is a big advantage in a way. Um, and yeah, so my main thing is, I've pretty much said all that I wanted to say about that, to be honest, other than literally, is put yourself out there, try new things, and I'd say just try things that you wouldn't have normally done, that you wouldn't normally think about trying. Like, I had never played sports in my entire life, and I came here and I played netball, and I had my first sports injury of my entire life about three months ago, four months ago, and I think that's mad. And it's just put, it puts you in new situations and it makes you grow as a person and it makes you broaden your horizons and it forces you to be confident. This time two years ago, I was a nervous wreck <laughs> trying to talk to anybody. I cared about what everyone thought of me. I was terrified of it and I was so quiet. And here I am making a YouTube video for however many people to see and to criticise. Um, so the one person who's like who's disliked every video that I've done, thank you, and <laughs> I hope you enjoy yourself. Um, <laughs> but I had to really not care and just do it doing what I want. And I think uni is a big place you can do that because you can do whatever you want. You can reinvent yourself. You can try new things, and you don't have people who maybe in your past expect you to act a certain way. They're not there anymore, and I think that you need to get yourself out of like the mental sort of block that you put on yourself to think I have to do things like this I can't do things like that because I would never have done half the things that I've done in uni and that I've loved I met all most of my friends going on an exchange trip to Utrecht and I never thought that I'd ever put myself out there to do a thing like that and here I am I just did it and a lot of the things that have benefited me the most are spur of the moment decisions to go to netball to, to apply for the JCR to go on this trip and I just think they take as many opportunities as you can because it is so amazing. Uh, right, so I realised I didn't mention this in the main video. Stay subscribed. It's almost Lancaster Freshers Week and I want to do a bit more about Freshers Week from an insider's perspective, from someone who's setting up the events, running the events and helping helping the Freshers settle in. I want to just show you that a bit more and a bit more about the JCR, what we do and the bits that people don't tend to think about when they think of the JCR. So yeah, make sure you stay subscribed and I'll see you all soon.